Are you already applying your New Year resolutions? January is almost over and it's about time to have a plan and put it into action. Don't worry, you are not alone. Today, I'm going to run you through a few more useful and easy tips. We are introducing the natural and seasonal recipes topic into the Food and Fit newsletter. You will discover two nourishing and balanced soups. Not only will you be using natural products, you will make delicious soups that will warm your cold winter days. Get the recipes by clicking the link below this video. On the landing page, you will find edition one in case you have missed it. You can also watch the first video by clicking right here. Have you started training? There should be no weight loss without exercising. Here are today's tips to help you start and progress with your training. You need to use a heart rate monitor. If you don't have one, this should be your first investment. Nowadays, you can find affordable cardio watches that have lots of functions. You can also buy a heart rate Bluetooth belt and connect it to your smartphone. This piece of technology will help you in this first training phase. And this takes us to tip number two, cardio aerobic training. This phase of aerobic base building should last a minimum of six weeks. I advise you to start indoor running and cycling. The combination of both types will give you great results. Don't be scared if you have never done it. If you follow this easy to start protocol, you will have 100% success. Step number one, jump into a running treadmill at the gym. Start a session, increase the speed to a comfortable walking pace and keep it for five minutes. Your heart rate is still very low, probably around 60% of maximum heart rate. Step number two, increase the speed to a light, comfortable running speed and keep it for five more minutes. Your heart rate increased a bit, perhaps between 65% and 70% of maximum heart rate. Step number three, after each minute, increase your speed by 0.1 km per hour until you reach 80% of your heart rate. When you reach that intensity, you can stop increasing your speed. Step number four, hold that running speed for as much time as you can, but if your heart rate increases by 5% or more, reduce your pace or stop for the day. Now, step number five, cool down for five more minutes at a walking pace. That's it. Now you need to apply it and repeat it every time you go to the gym. You can use the same training pattern on the indoor bike as well. You will see improvement session after session. Your training time will increase and your final speed at 80% will increase as well over time. That's all you need to know for now. Good luck with that. And if you have any question, post it in the comments below this video or just send us an email. Now you can also subscribe to our channel right here. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye-bye.